I've come out today to prune our raspberries, but that's not what this video is about. What I want to show you is the difference between where we planted them, which is where we've put these stakes and wires, and where they are now. So there's a raspberry here, all the way down here, two and a bit years later, and it's moved from here. Now you've probably got raspberries at home um, that do the same thing, they move. So how do you not have to fight your raspberries? Well, what we've done here specifically is to plant them in a row, more or less as close as possible, north to south. And the reason that works is that raspberries are a woodland edge plant like you see behind us here. But of course, most woodland edges have some kind of fence, uh, which we have here. <laughs> People stream or there's a road or a path and so we don't get to see the woodland move, but unconstrained, that's what would happen. The trees would be seeding out into the grass. In fact, there are some trees coming up on the verge there because we don't stream that. And, and subsequently, all the plants that would normally be just outside the trees because they like a bit of light, then they have to move. And that's why raspberries move because raspberries are a woodland edge plant and that's what they do. They move to stay in the light. Strawberries are the same. They're obviously lower growing, but they also move to stay in the light. And if you stop them moving, then they become less happy. Those plants, three, four years on, start to lose vigor because in a natural setting, they would be disappearing under the trees and there's no point in them keeping going. So what we've done here is to try and work with that as best as possible by letting them run but letting them run in the direction of the bed. So all of these plants are moving this way. And there's a little bit, you'll see plants just, a little bit of canes coming up here, but more or less, they just stay in this bed. And so the trick with raspberries is to plant them as much as possible north, south, so that when they run, you don't have to fight them, you don't have to stream them, you don't have to push them back. In fact, what we're doing is taking the odd plant that comes out into the grass here and planting it on the end because <laughs> a gap is appearing. All of the plants at the end are obviously also moving this way. And we're going to let that happen until perhaps these plants get a little bit less happy because as they move into the shade of the building here, then we'll dig them up and we'll put them back at the other end, a bit like a sort of escalator, put them back and then your plants stay happy, they stay productive, and you have less work to do.